This church, I submit, is far more than a social organization where we gather together to enjoy one another's company. It is more than Sunday school and relief society and priesthood meeting. It is more than sacrament meeting, more even, more even than temple service. It is the kingdom of God in the earth. It behooves us to act in a manner befitting membership in that kingdom. I believe and testify that it is the mission of this church to stand as an ensign to the nations and a light to the world. So it is with you adults. If we are to hold up this church as an ensign to the nations and a light to the world, we must take on more of the luster of the life of Christ individually and in our own personal circumstances. In standing for the right, we must not be fearful of the consequences. We must never be afraid. I remind all of us that we are Latter-day Saints. We have made covenants with our Heavenly Father, sacred and binding. Those covenants, if we keep them, will make us better fathers and mothers, better sons and daughters. I believe that others will rally around us if we will do so. We can stand for truth and goodness, and we will not stand alone. It is our opportunity and our challenge to continue in this great undertaking, the future of which we can scarcely imagine. Thank you, my brothers and sisters, for your faith and faithfulness. Thank you for the love you carry for this, the work of the Almighty. We live in the world. We work in the world. But we must rise above the world as we pursue the work of the Lord and seek to build his kingdom in the earth. Let us now join together in a great world conference of men and women who are indeed brothers and sisters as children of God. May the blessings of heaven attend you. May you be faithful and true to the great and glorious cause which you have embraced is my humble prayer in the name of our Redeemer, even the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.